Hi, so today I'm excited to talk about the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. This is a developer kit. Uh, this is a small board that comes with a Maxwell GPU. It comes with four gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got four USB ports, one ethernet. It's got the GPIO pins there so you can add uh, uh, external devices. It's got two display ports one barrel for power and micro USB for power as well. Uh, so it's a nice board from NVIDIA. Uh, heat sink is really nice as well. Uh, NVIDIA decided that the uh, box can also become uh, uh, a mount. So you could uh, you could get going right away. But in this video, I'm also showing you a case, the case that I'm using uh, for the Jetson Nano. It's the Makeronics Acrylics case comes in uh, transparent, comes in clear and black. Uh, this one is in black, obviously. The uh, one thing I like is that there are mounts for the board, so the board is not sitting right on the plastic. Uh, the board has some elevation. I like this for, uh, I can do some cabling uh, management underneath. And all the, it's also good for, for, uh, for airflow uh, as far as what I can tell here. Uh, so, uh, I like I like the mount. Uh, it's easy to set up. Now, uh, it's not the best case out in the market, but I like it for my for my use case and for what I'm going to be showing here. I like that the case also comes with a fan. Uh, this keeps the airflow going. The case is not fully closed, so the fan helps push the air to the to the sides. Uh, it's a nice feature, and this is what I mean with the case is that. Uh, although it fits the Nano perfectly, the ports that you see here in the front, there are some openings there, it's not as flush as other cases, uh, so you still have some openings there. Uh, but the top part here is nice, the top part here, you have a power button and you have a reset button. Uh, the buttons are not clicky, the buttons are pretty smooth. Uh, and. You know, and it, for this type of board, you might be running uh, an intense workload, so it's nice to have a button where you can reset it, uh, and also it's nice to that you can leave it plugged in, and you can just turn it on with the button. You don't have to uh, unplug the the wire. Uh, you know, so it's soldering. You don't want to keep plugging and plugging things from the board. So having the button is nice as far as uh, what I want. Now, here uh, I'm also installing a Wi-Fi card. Uh, the Wi-Fi expansion is right under the, C the GPU. So as you can see, I removed it. Um, I'm adding the card. This is this card is the WaveShare Wireless NIC. Uh, it supports uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but also Bluetooth. And that's why I chose this one uh, for, for this board. So I'm going to be doing some stuff with both. Now, uh, make sure that that screw is all the way down so it doesn't touch the uh, the the board above it. Uh, and one of the things with these boards is that the clamps are very sturdy. Uh, they're very tight, so you might need another tool to uh, to prime open and to click it back in place. I don't use any metal there. I don't want to scratch a board, so I have a, a plastic tool that I use for this. Uh, and once you put it in, you, you can see that that it sits right below it. It doesn't touch. Uh, and there's a separator there, so you're good. Uh, but as long as you have the wires, the Wi-Fi antenna wires coming out where you want them, you're good. Uh, this is one of the things I like about the case is that uh, with with this case, uh, you have you could you could put the antenna uh, connectors right outside the case in the back, so you can have um, to you know you can have the antennas coming out of the back. It looks like a router uh, setup. Uh, but it's nice because you can point them wherever your router is at or wherever you want to send uh, a signal to. Uh, so it makes it nice to have the antennas there. Now, one thing I didn't get from the instructions was the pin configuration. So I want to add it here. And I want to make sure that uh, you have it too because it was a little confusing. The pins are behind the board under the GPU. So turn it around. They're behind. They're under the GPU. So it's good to do it while, while you have it open. Uh, you could also do it when closed, but here it is. Uh, that's for your power and reset button. You also have to jump uh, a pin so that the board doesn't turn on. Uh, the configuration is this one, white, green, jumper, reset, and power. Again, you have to jump the pins there in the middle so that the board doesn't turn on when you plug it to your power outlet 
and you can control it with with the buttons uh, so there you go uh, that is the power and the reset uh, for the board uh, once you're ready to go close it all up and there you have it you have uh, a nice uh, case and antenna for the for the Jetson Nano it's pretty compact it fits in my hand uh, here are the buttons as you can see uh, and here's the board so it's really nice uh, I'm gonna be doing some more videos with uh, I'm setting a few of these up I want to have a lab that I can do some ML labs uh, highly recommend this board uh, even if you don't use it for ML the the display that comes out of this is really amazing uh, because of the GPU that is on board so I highly recommend this little board it's inexpensive for for the features that you have uh, so highly recommend it uh, I'll be doing some more videos and I'll show you later all right